Forecast Center. I'm continuing to track what's currently Category 3 Hurricane Fernanda, continuing to turn in the eastern Pacific and continuing to approach the state. But take a look at the system as it becomes more organized. Check out that nice, well defined eye. That is looking like a beautiful system as it continues to be very well organized and continues to move towards us in a bit closer to the south, a bit closer to the equator in that warmer water. It's really feeding off of the energy from that, but we have really good news. From the most recent track from the National Hurricane Center, it does not look like we're going to be seeing it as strong of a system as it approaches uh, the state and as it approaches the Central Pacific. So take a look at the forecast from the Hurricane Center. Currently, again, it's Category 3 hurricane forecast to continue to strengthen and become a Category 4 hurricane as early as in the next couple of days. But Okay, here's what we have. As this is approaching, we have a high pressure system far to the northeast of the state. That's kind of pushing this a bit more to the south and keeping it to the south. But as the days progress, we have a low pressure system that's going to be moving through. That's weakening that high. So that's why we have a bit more of a hook through the next upcoming days. But as it does hook a bit more to the north, it's going to be getting into a bit cooler of waters, getting into some wind shear. So good news is it weakens fairly quickly just before it enters our waters right here in the Central Pacific at the 140 mark. The timing of that looking like it's going to be Wednesday into Thursday. Again, this is still a very far out system. This is likely going to change the track as well as the intensity. So just stick with KHON. Download our mobile app, but 115 mile an hour sustained winds. It's a powerful system.